Hi everyone, this is Kevin here from the CAM team at Autodesk. With today's HSM toolpath tip, we are covering how to use a check surface to gain more toolpath control. In this example, I will create a parallel toolpath strategy that will focus on a specific region of this part using a containment boundary. By defining a geometry selection to this area, we can contain the tool center onto these boundary limits. Moving into the Passes tab, I will set our step over amount to 25 thou. Considering the features on this model, I may decide to use a different finishing strategy to machine the lower pocket area. We can simply add this geometry to our machining boundary selection by holding the control key to select another boundary edge. But what if we want to keep the tool from entering this concave surface feature? Now, the HSM toolpath tip. How to use a check surface to gain more toolpath control. By moving into the geometry tab, we can activate check surfaces. When enabled, toolpaths stay away from the selected surfaces by a specified amount. This updated toolpath now keeps the tool on the upper surfaces only. With giving you a pro tip of the day, we can easily force the tool to machine only the check surface selection. To use this feature, inside of the Geometry tab, we can enable it here. With pausing the mouse over this parameter for a tooltip flyout, we can see that this setting inverts the meaning for check surfaces. With this toolpath update, we can see the added control we have now with using check surfaces. Thank you everyone for watching this HSM toolpath tip. It's that easy with integrated CAM inside of HSM Works.